Oh, it's a vlog from my kitchen, um, and I've only got four minutes. Um, yesterday, I received an electric bill for three months' worth of electric. £185 for a one-bedroom flat. Last year, my electric cost me £124. That's a £61 increase in 12 months. And I actually have recently removed my energy saving light bulbs so I had energy saving light bulbs I haven't had you know the air conditioning on at all much this year right um, especially not in the winter we're talking the last three months I've compared my last year's electricity bills with this year's electricity bills and I've actually been more economical this year yet my bills more expensive so spoke to my mum she thinks they're absolutely ludicrous can't actually understand how I've coped so long living on my own for the last year especially as things have increased so I'm in the process of working out who I'm going to live with because I'm going to move in with someone in the next three months because it's getting stupid now um, and then I go into town and see brainwashed people spending money on their credit cards buying crap for Christmas right how the hell can anyone afford to buy anything for Christmas where are people getting money from? And people are still falling for it. They're still going down the high street and buying all this crap. What's going on? I don't understand. Are you all stupid? Right? Because I certainly can't afford a £20 a month on my electricity increase. <laughs> right? Food. Food's near enough doubled in price in the last six months. You know, I used to be able to spend 40 quid on food and I'd get like two weeks worth. I'm lucky if I get a week. Unless I buy value and eat every artificial, even value food, right? My girlfriend was saying, I think she buys sweet corn or something like that. 17p it usually, no, 14p it usually is in Sainsbury's. It's 34p now. Um, is anyone else actually noticing this in the UK? You know, if you're a couple, you won't notice it as much. If you're living on your own, you will seriously notice it. I've got to the point now, I can't live on my own. Can't, not on my wage. Not on twenty thousand. No, I'm on twenty-three thousand pound a year. I can't afford to run a one-bedroom flat on twenty-three thousand pound a year. How's that, people? And that's with taking fifty pound out the bank each week for me. The rest of it stays in the bank. The other grand stays in the bank and just pays for my flat and my car that's currently off the road, which. I can't see getting put back on the road that quickly. Well, my parents will probably do it because, they, you know, they've got money, but I don't want them bailing me out all the time. Not all the time. Not that they've bailed me out for the last seven years, but no. Um, I don't want them having to hand things out to me all the time. So, who else is feeling the credit crunch? Because uh, if you start looking at your utility bills, that's where you're going to feel it. And your food bills. Um, I'm just hoping there won't be an economy by the end of January and then I won't have to move out because no one will know no different. Or I'll get some land from somewhere and whatever else. But yeah, it's becoming a joke now. Absolute joke. I pay all my bills on time. Laura by the citizen, apart from the fact that I smoke a bit of pot. And I can't pay my bills. I haven't got huge amounts of credit. I pay 100 quid to a credit card. There you go. <laughs> what is going on? Even if I had that 100 quid, I'd still be struggling. <laughs> just, just 25 pound a week I do 40 quid a week overtime so on a basic wage I'd actually be worse off explain this people who else is like that I'm happy though I've got past the depressed stage and my parents are not very easy to talk to about money but I found it really easy to talk to my mum this time and she's treating me like an adult <laughs> which is cool thanks mum for being mum so yeah it will be okay. Peace, love, love.